Hey, Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another action figure review. Very excited about this one. Ahsoka Peridia, Ahsoka Tano the White, as uh, she's become affectionately known. Very excited about this one. This is one I was just going to have to get multiples of. Um, I did it with the, the first Ahsoka from Mandalorian, and then obviously the other Ahsoka I did get multiples. Um... It's just it's just too good of a figure not to. I just I love Ahsoka. Um, it's always nice to have an extra one just to keep in the box. Um, sometimes it's cool to just have one to play with and one for the shelf. Um, I don't do it very often, but uh, yeah, this is this is one I had to get multiples of. So she's number eleven. Um, looking on the back, I see a little bio. The image on the side of the box there as well. Really nice image of Rosaria Dawson as a soaker. I do think the uh, the missing robe is a missed opportunity. Um, but we know how they're marketing now. Having just picked up the uh, Balin and Shin figures that come with the robes. <laughs> having to buy them again. Um, look, it's up to you whether you buy them or not. But uh, yeah, this one is... Uh, Definitely begging for a bit of a custom robe. But uh, anyway, we're going to look at the figure for what it is and not what it's not. So let's bust it open and have a look. All right, here is Ahsoka Tano out of the packaging. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this one. Straight from the get-go. Much more of a sort of softer, more sort of zen appearance, especially in her face. We'll do a little comparison um, with, the, with the previous Ahsoka afterwards. Um... And yeah, I, this is an entirely new figure, except for the belt. Uh, the belt, the sort of side bits here. Um, and that's, you know, that's the only sort of reuse here. But it's, you know, unrecognisable. It's a different colour. Yeah, similar. But yeah, it's a, diff it's a different colour and it's it looks different enough. So it works. It works for the outfit. Whereas I think the vintage collection version of Ahsoka here is getting quite a lot of reuse from the previous version. But yeah, the, obviously the, the main sort of feature here is the, is the head. And like I said, it's a much sort of softer sort of look to Ahsoka's face. You know, which is pretty much part of the, part of the story, the trial she goes through is, you know, she wisens up a little bit towards the, towards the end of the series after she has her little sequence there with uh with her previous master Anakin she comes out a, a more wiser wiser character she uh there's no there's no surprise of the analogies to Lord of the Rings that Dave Filoni put in the Ahsoka series the one she has got the nickname Ahsoka the White she literally does battle with a Balrog and, and comes back to finish her job. And what that is, what she's been tasked by the Force is yet to be seen. Season 2 starts shooting next year, so it's exciting. So I thought we'd have a quick look at the, uh, the paint apps. As you can see, really nice and clean. Yeah, slightly longer head tails on this one as well, which is great. I do like the headband. It still weirds me out seeing her without it in that scene where she's sort of waking up. <laughs> Didn't really know what to think was under the headband, but yeah, it's sort of... A bit strange, but yeah, the paint's applied really well. All those sort of blue, the blue lines, markings, the white markings on her face, cheeks and forehead, looks nice. Yeah, the head sculpt is just remarkable. They've certainly uh, done a nice upgrade for this version. The paint seems to be nice and clean. With the arms, definitely continuing on that sort of samurai sort of vibe with the armor. 
on the gauntlets there. And I like the way they're sort of just wrapped on, wrapped around her, her arms there. Armor on the hands. Still rocking the the sort of the diamond patterns, the sort of um, cut into the fabric, which has definitely become something iconic for Ahsoka. Again, the trousers are, are newly sculpted. They're very similar. They got that sort of baggy look to them. And I'm just double checking side by side. Yeah, they are different. They don't have the big sort of cut for the articulation for the knees on this one, so they still just they still bend nicely, but it's uh, much more nice and fluid. And again, following that sort of armor armor suit down to her shins, where it's sort of wrapped on. And the multi-layered sort of look on the on the on the shoes there looks really nice. You know, I usually go through the uh, accessories first. She does come with her uh, her lightsaber and her Shoto blade. Which, again, very nice, nicely detailed. A lot of just the little touches of gold at the end, and then the uh, the black highlights. Again, that sort of diamond sort of look, which follows Ahsoka. And they are uh, you know just slot in nicely. They've got almost a little rectangular sort of flat side, so you. There's only one way, or you know, upside down, two ways you can really get those blades in. So again, having them be able to be so simply removable is, is really nice too. They're quite a long peg too, so you're not going to risk too much breakage. But yeah, I'm really, really liking the look of this one. We'll go through articulation. She's got the uh, the ball joint in the top of the head and the neck. It's got a ball joint at the bottom of the neck there. And she's got the ball hinge in the shoulders there. She's got the butterfly joints as well. They sort of rock back in in and out a little bit. So you get some good good poses out of her. She's got the uh, the torso articulation there. There's a ball and socket joint in there. Got a ball hinge in the elbow, so you get a nice bit further than 90 degree bend there. Got the ball hinges in the wrists. You can get that up and down hinge on the left hand and up and down on the right hand as well. And she does have the ball and sockets in the thighs there. As I showed before, the ball hinges in the knees. You got the ball hinges in the ankles. You can see, and then the rocker joint that goes through the front of the foot, just to give it that sort of side pivot. So yeah, those sort of wider stances, which is really nice. Let's get those lightsabers in hand, I reckon. She does lose the, the smaller blade at the end of the season. And Morgan cuts it in half with the, with the, the blade of Talzin. So interesting to see whether she uh, does a fixer-upper or whether she just continues with the one blade. She's become quite, a, quite synonymous with the, uh, with the dual wield over the years. Obviously, at the early seasons of the Clone Wars, she did just have the single blade. So she's very proficient in lightsaber combat with one blade. But uh, yeah, with the Kessel Run stand here, let's do the uh, peg test. It sort of just sits nicely there in the front of her foot. Nice and flush. The sort of the mold of the shoe sort of kicks up a little bit. But yeah, she's not going anywhere in a hurry. So I thought we'd do a side by side. Between the previous iteration. Again, you can sort of see the head sculpt difference. Much softer. You know, the one on the right, the the first one, you know, is just a lot more 
which is a lot more tense. You know, that sort of came through and was sort of criticised a fair bit through the through the early episodes of the Ahsoka series. She was a little bit, you know, tense, mission oriented. Um, yeah, she sort of by the by the time she went through her transformation, she almost just let the force guide her a little bit more, which is the. Uh, the evolution of her character, you know, she's been through a fair bit throughout the years. It'll be interesting to see whether she does reconnect with the son of her master, Luke Skywalker, at some stage. I think that would be absolutely incredible to see. But yeah, this figure is an absolute banger. Um, yeah, really, really happy to have this one finally. Um, yeah, need to find... Need to find some nice soft goods to give her a bit of a bit of a white white poncho robe. It'd be really cool. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed the review. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, we'll see you again very soon for some more Star Wars action figure reviews. Till then, may the force be with you always. Thank you.